hi everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome if you are a new viewer for today's video i'm sharing some homemaking and homeschool inspiration so although we have not officially began our book work because my oldest goes back to school on the 4th and so we are going to be starting either on the 4th or the 9th but I still wanted to share what we've been doing this week. I've been trying really hard to follow my children's interests so when they asked me when we were shopping the other day if they could pick up some stuff to bake cookies I used it as an opportunity to practice some life skills with them and just get in the kitchen. I love that they asked me and it was like self-initiated and then I also picked up these really cool frozen theme magnet tiles for my um, youngest, although they all kind of play with them. My only thought was I definitely thought that there would be a lot more because there were 53 or 56 in the pack, but I think I'm going to pick up another case. We've got beef stew in the crock pot and I'm gonna make some dinner rolls with it I think or maybe homemade bread I think would be really good. Now, moving on, I am making some cheddar dinner rolls. They were actually supposed to be cheddar jalapeno because I thought I had jalapenos in the fridge still, but it turns out I didn't. So I just made them anyways with just the cheddar. And these biscuits were really good. My only complaint is when I make dinner rolls or bread at home, it has that yeast flavor. If anyone knows how to like get just get rid of that flavor like I just don't know every time I bake something with yeast it always has that flavor and I just I don't know how to really fix it um so if you guys know please let me know in the comments like am I not letting it rise long enough I'm following the recipes so um yeah I don't know why it just has that really strong yeast flavor um although they were good so I can't really complain and yeah these just turned out really yummy i made them to go with our beef stew and it was actually um a really good combination so this was the first day that it truly felt like a fall day the weather was nice and cool like i said i had beef stew in the crock pot I had my fall candle going and I watched a fall uh, television show so everything was just working together made me feel um, really excited for fall I love summer but I definitely love fall a lot more it's my favorite season let me know are you guys excited for fall Monday Labor Day it's Labor Day today and the indoor pools are still open here and so I'm gonna take the kids swimming um, we haven't been in a while but I'm thinking of maybe getting a three-month pass if we do like it so um, yeah that's where we're headed today it feels like a proper fall day now and the last few days have felt very like fall temperatures like it's properly cold cold enough to wear a cardigan which I love um but yeah so we are making the most out of this week my oldest is starting back Wednesday so she has today off and then tomorrow and then back to school so that'll be fun and then we are also going to start our homeschool either Wednesday or the following Monday I'm not quite sure yet my husband's also on holidays this week so um, if we do school, it'll probably be more casually, but we've been trying to do more like interest-based learning right now. I'm really wanting to add some unit studies this year to our homeschool. So I'm looking around at some 
and I'm thinking gather round. So I'm thinking about maybe adding a few gather round unit studies, but we will see. I'm still kind of thinking about what I want to do other than the math and Bible, which is literally all I've chosen. And um, she's also going to be doing Evan Moore spelling grade four because we did a placement and she did really well with it. So anyways, we have to get going, but I'll catch up with you guys a little later. We went for a little swim at the indoor pool, but I didn't realize I could take my phone. Um, so now we're just gonna go to the park and play for a little bit. wanted to share a little Dollarama haul. I wasn't planning on getting anything more for fall, but they had some new items out that were too cute. So first thing is this hand towel. I always like to get at least one seasonal kitchen towel. And then they had these, which I thought were so cute. So we chose the thankful and blessed. And then I thought this was super cute to have as kind of like a snack platter or to put cookies in or something. And then my husband actually found these and I thought this was so cute for like a little candy jar. This does come off, oh, there you go. So that is gonna be all for today's video. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I post homemaking and homeschool content and a little bit of everything here on my channel. So if you are interested, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one.